What if I tell you that you can enable live translation on any iPhone or iPad, even if your device is not supported by Apple? As you can see, this is my iPhone 14 Pro. And officially, it does not support live translation because Apple intelligence is not supported on this device. But look at this. Live translation is now fully enabled and it's working perfectly, even with AirPods 4. As you know, Apple's live translation officially only supports iPhone 15 and newer, and paired with compatible AirPods like AirPods 4 A and C AirPods Pro 2 and newer. So on this device, it's supposed to be completely unsupported. Live translation is now fully enabled on this device even older iPhone. Working perfectly in FaceTime live translation. iMessage live translation and more. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to enable live translation on any unsupported iPhone or iPad, no jailbreak, step by step. So make sure you watch until the end. All right, let's dive into it. The first thing you need to do is enable Apple Intelligence because live translation actually runs on Apple Intelligence features. So to enable both Apple Intelligence and live translation, you will need a mobile Gestalt file. And the easiest way to get your mobile Gestalt file is by using the Save Mobile Gestalt shortcut. I will insert the link on description. Once added, open the shortcut and run it. Once load, tap Allow to read the Plist device. Then select Manual Method button. Tap the button that says Click Here to start the process. You'll see a circular icon. After that, tap File button. Select NS String. Next, you need to copy all the codes. You can highlight and copy manually, or use Select All to copy. After the entire code is highlighted, then choose Copy. This will copy your full mobile Gestalt string to the clipboard. Then tap All Done button. The shortcut will automatically ask you to save the mobile Gestalt file. Select the folder what you want and save it. Next. Once you've copied the entire code and saved it as a file, open your files app again and locate the mobile Gestalt file you just created. Find the mobile Gestalt file, then send it into computer. You need a computer to enable Apple Intelligence and Live Translation. Open Files app and locate the mobile Gestalt file that you saved earlier. From here, simply share and send it through email, Discord, WhatsApp, AirDrop, or, or any other transfer method you prefer. Next, to actually enable Apple Intelligence and Live Translation, we're going to use a tool called Misaka 26. First, go to the link in the description and download Misaka 26 on your computer. It's available for both Windows and Mac, and make sure you're downloading the newest version. Once the download is finished, install it like a normal app, and then run Misaka 26. Especially for Windows user, you must install iTunes first iTunes is required so your iPhone can communicate properly with Misaka 26. Once Misaka opened, now plug your iPhone into your computer using a USB cable. Once your iPhone is connected and recognized, we're ready to load the mobile Gestalt file. In Misaka 26, go to the section for mobile Gestalt. Click Select Plist File and select the mobile Gestalt file you sent from your iPhone earlier. Misaka 26 will read that file and show you all the internal settings and capabilities that we can tweak and enable Apple Intelligence. Inside Misaka 26, scroll down and look for the section called Apple Intelligence. Simply check the option and enable it. This will activate the core Apple Intelligence components on your unsupported device, which is required for a live translation to work. Next, look for the section called Set Product Type. By default, it will show your real device model. But to make Apple Intelligence work, we need to temporarily change it to a newer device model. Then change the value to iPhone 17,3. This makes your device appear as a supported model, so Apple Intelligence assets can be downloaded properly to make live translation works. This is very important step. Before you change anything, remember your original product type value. You will need it later to restore your device back to normal after everything is finished. Once you've updated the product type, click Apply button. Before you apply anything in Misaka 26, make sure you turn off Find My iPhone first. This is required so the changes can be applied successfully. You can turn it back on later after everything is finished. This is only temporary. Then click Apply again and your device will automatically restart. 
After you apply the changes in Misaka 26, you will probably notice some face ID or display issues. Don't worry, this is completely normal. It happens because we spoofed your device to a newer model. We will fix this later after Apple Intelligence finishes downloading all the required assets. Next, go to your settings, scroll down, and turn on Apple Intelligence. When you enable it, your device will start downloading the Apple Intelligence assets. Make sure you are connected to a stable Wi-Fi connection, because the download can take several minutes depending on your device. If you get stuck on the asset download, don't worry I already made a full video on how to fix that. You can watch it right here. Once all the Apple Intelligence assets are fully downloaded, now we're going to fix the Face ID issue that happens on unsupported devices. Open Misaka 26 again, and now revert your device back to its original type. Then, tap Apply. This step is very important because it keeps all the Apple Intelligence features, keeps all the downloaded assets, but restores your device's original identity so your Face ID stays working normally. And remember, sometimes it takes two to three times applying to make change. As you can see, my Face ID is now back to normal. And now your older iPhone or iPad is fully ready to run live translation. And the best part is even though we reverted the device back to its original type, you still keep all the Apple Intelligence features. That means your older iPhone can now keep Apple Intelligence and Live Translation fully enabled without breaking Face ID and without losing the downloaded assets. Now that everything is working, we can continue setting up the translation features. We can continue setting up the full translation features, including FaceTime Live Translation, a Message Live Translation, AirPods Live Translation, and more. So that's how you enable Apple Intelligence and Live Translation on any unsupported iPhone or iPad. Even though Apple only supports this feature on the iPhone 15 Pro series and newer, with the steps in this video, you can now enjoy live translation. All download links, shortcuts, and tools are in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.